It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Terry to get the drive started and they're able to get this one across the 35 that's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense well, that's pretty much mean potatoes right there wasn't it just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle not too fancy there was it nothing fancy at all challenging that defense and on that go around the offense won the challenge on first down they stick with Singletary and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. But it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Allen. This one caught by Crowder. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Jamison Crowder. 34 yards. And the Bills will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. now. Here's Heineke. That's out to the flat for Gibson. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Off the play fake, Heineke. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw. Heineke. And yet again, it's McLaurin. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? 
to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin from 17 yards out. And the Commanders respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like... Tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got him a lot to handle in this one. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. It's Crowder, and he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. That's complete as he goes right back to Crowder. And he first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive here's Allen little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And a 
again it's Allen it's complete to Diggs and he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25 Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first if you're going to blitz likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy and that is less than ideal it is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver if you blitz and have him in man coverage you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down and four, Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense they trail a one score deficit 14-7 as they come up first and 10 middle of the field he's got McLaurin and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled 16 yards right off the bat and a first down well, that certainly has to feel good it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit sometimes i think in the huddle the quarterback just says hey who's gonna make a play for me i just need something right here and the end result there nice first down drive keeps moving and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line to throw again on second down heineke this to mclaurin out on the left side and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the bills 31 yard line Heineke again. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And the play fake, and now Heineke. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. On play action, Heineke, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Sly able to put this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's got a man complete. A big play there just before halftime. And even 40 yards. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Allen going to throw. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. On second and goal, Allen. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. James Cook in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And not much on this one, takes it from the 21. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. play of the half here Heineke and this one is going to be off the mark too far out in front and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start in the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. They go play action. Now Heineke. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Gregory Russo able to finally wrestle him down for what's just going to be a huge loss. And it takes us to fourth down as well. Taking a shot for Samuel. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poirier. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. As they start. Yeah. 